All right, let's make the easiest breakfast ever. My husband originally started doing this. He saw something similar on TikTok, and we have been doing it for a really long time. It's been really easy now. So all you need is two eggs. So I scrambled those, put those on a pan, immediately put a tortilla over it, let it cook, flipped it over, and then put cheese on it. You could also put salsa on the inside. I kept mine on the outside for this one. Um, but once everything is all cooked, you just roll it up and that's really it it is the easiest breakfast ever and then you just take it off and you serve it with your favorite salsa on the side if you didn't put it on the inside and this is my favorite from trader joe's so good i'm your mom now and i'm going to teach you how to make the best crepes Buttermilk, eggs, sugar, vanilla, a little pinch of salt, and some flour. Add a little bit of water to thin it out and then top it on your blender. I added two tablespoons of melted butter before I blended because I had forgotten it and then I just rimmed my pan with butter and I got all the sides nice and hot, dolloped in one ladle full of it and just spin it all around the edges. Gently pull the sides with your spatula and flip. It's okay if you see raw bits because they're going to cook. Now fill it with anything you'd like. I use whipped cream and Nutella and strawberry. These are the world's best cinnamon rolls that are perfectly cooked, no hard outside, no underdone center, just yeasty, pillowy, soft, sticky, ooey, gooey cinnamon rolls with a silky cream cheese frosting. It's my favorite food. It starts with warm milk and instant yeast. Add that to a stand mixer to proof while you make a paste of milk, water, and bread flour on the stove. Set that aside, then to the milk and yeast, add sugar and egg, salt, melted salted butter, the paste we made, and mix till combined. With the mixer on low, add bread flour one cup at a time until the dough fully forms. Swap in the dough hook and knead for 15 minutes. Let the dough rise for an hour, then roll out, spread on softened butter, and cover in that brown sugar and cinnamon. Press into the dough, then tightly roll up. Cut into 10 to 12 rolls and place on a lined sheet pan. Cover in warm, heavy whipping cream and bake. Mix your cream cheese frosting and slather on the rolls once they've cooled for five to 10 minutes. This is an experience. The recipe's on my website now. The secret to the best French toast is properly soaking the bread. This way it absorbs all of that delicious flavor and turns out super moist and custardy once cooked. I love starting with challah bread and I soak for two to three minutes per side, sizzle it up, serve it with maple syrup and berries, and it's so good. That is moist and delicious. So moist. High protein breakfast for fat loss. Eating healthy doesn't mean it has to be boring. Let me show you how it's done. I eat my traditional Mexican meals, but a healthier version of it. Look at this. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. And it fits my macros. I'm losing weight and seeing results because it's sustainable. Plus, I get to enjoy all my meals. Mexican breakfast tostadas, which for me is basically eggs cooked in salsa. I use chile verde that I made earlier in the week. A red salsa would be delicious as well. And I'm making my own tostadas for this recipe, but store-bought totally works. I already had frijoles de la olla in my fridge, so I simmered them, then I smashed it, and I let it reduce to get a thicker consistency. Once my tostadas were hardened, it was time to cook my eggs. I let the salsa warm through, then cracked the eggs right in, and don't forget to season with salt. I topped with foil for two minutes to cook the top of the egg. The whites were cooked and the yolk was perfectly slightly runny the way I like it. It was time to assemble. Spread the beans, place the eggs on top, then sprinkle some queso fresco and any other toppings you want. I also added some cilantro. And wow, these were amazing. Like and follow for more. Enjoy. I've been obsessed with this breakfast. Melting a little butter in a pan. Then add as much crunchy chili oil as you like. Let that bubble a little and then crack in your eggs. I've been getting fresh chicken eggs from my friend and they are a game changer. I add a little salt and pepper on the eggs and then I give them a nice flip to finish cooking on the other side. 
I love this artisan bread. We're going to toast that up. Get yourself a nice ripe avocado and mash that up for your toast. I find it easy to mash with a fork. In my opinion, avocado needs salt. So let's assemble our breakfast. Have the toast with the avocado topped with the chili eggs and enjoy. I feel like I can have this every day. Click that follow button for more easy recipes. I'm honestly not into oatmeal, but this recipe right here is going to be the best oatmeal you've ever had in your life. The secret is still cut oats. When using Instant Pot, this recipe is going to take you about 15 minutes start to finish. Not only is it delicious, but you don't have to sit and watch Just it. put it in the Instant Pot and go get ready for the day. Oatmeal has so many incredible health benefits. It can help lower our cholesterol, including the bad one. It has a bunch of vitamins and minerals. It's packed with fiber, which can help aid in healthy digestion. And helping us feel fuller for longer. Now we're going to be adding in our toppings. Brown sugar is always a standard mix-in for And then me. I like to add whatever fruit I'm feeling along with some walnuts. Also can never go wrong with strawberries. But next try is going to be air fried apples. Ugh, it's gonna be like an apple pie. I'm so excited for you to try this oatmeal. I mean, come on, have I ever led you astray?